Hey everybody, it's Chris, and today we're gonna to talk about recall because I know all of you are struggling to call your dog to you and you wanna know what's the secret. And I'm gonna share it with you right now. And if you haven't seen the other videos, I do recommend going and checking them because they are recall in non-distracting areas and then all the other skills in non-distracting areas. If you just saw I rounded up my leash, this is one advanced skill I'm gonna talk about here, but just stay tuned for that. We'll talk about once we get out there, but why these circles are important and what they tell me for distances. Now, of course, doorways, as you can see, he doesn't go. Let's get that leash on right away and always safety first. So what we're doing is we're now in a distracting area. There's dogs out here, we're at the park. He hasn't been here before. And I need to set myself up for success and set him up for success. So of course, these next few videos you're gonna see, being that we're at day 11 right now, we're gonna be doing everything individually again. At one week, we combined everything. We did that the 10th day and the 9th and the 8th. We're all combining everything, doing all the skills together because he understood it. But now that we're in, a non, or we're in a distracting area, we're gonna go back to the basics. But we'll talk about that soon first. Kilo come. Of course, it's always straight into Kilo heel. When we get out of the car, you can see he's getting used to this now. Straight into heel. That was awesome. I'm gonna give him his first break when we get out there. And then we're just gonna walk out there. And now, heel. What I did do and what you need to know heel about the system that we're doing break because everything's always a system I have faded off the value of treats when we were recalling when we first got our dog I had a higher value treat I was using the beef liver um, calling them in big reward and then I would give a little less little less not overusing the recall of course just doing five seven ten so today we're gonna go for five to ten recalls but having that value of food he really enjoyed then we just started doing recalls for handfuls of kibble. Handfuls of kibble. And then now he's like, ah, when Chris calls me, it's gonna be a handful of kibble. Well, what he doesn't know is I brought chicken. I'm gonna wait for him to get distracted. He's distracted. Here goes the first recall. And this is called the wow factor. Kilo, come. Yes, good boy. Good boy, that was a perfect recall. He got distracted. He looked at that dog, I gave him the tug, the communication, showed him the hand, I gave him the chicken. He's like, holy smokes, I didn't know you had that. Now we're just gonna walk this way, we'll see what he does. He looks back at the dog, looks back at me. I could give him another piece of chicken, but we'll keep going dude with the recall. When you have the high value food, he found a toy, when you have the high value food and you bring it out on this first outdoor recall walk, the dog might not leave your side. Your dog might be like, holy smokes, I didn't realize you had that. And that's fine, just go for your walk and work, up, work on some opportunities. I'm gonna try to get this out of Kilo's mouth. Kilo, come. Yes. Good boy, it's a piece of plastic. We don't want him eating that. Throw that out of the way, come on. Good boy, brick. And there you go. So now he's had the chicken. That's allowed me to use the wow factor. The system that I'm talking about is now that we're in a more distracting area to help myself succeed and to make him be like, yes, I do want to come to you, even though all these new smells, he just turned back to me. All these new smells are really distracting for him because we've uh, leveled up the scenario in the area where we are because we want to get out there to the public and busy, busy areas and be able to call our dog to us. This is the first step. And just like each of these videos going forward, uh, the next video is going to be uh, heel. We're just going to do the one thing. This one, we're just working on recall. And then again, in the new distracting areas where there's things going on and people and dogs like we saw, we're gonna then combine everything and have him succeed because of the system that we did it. Um, this system is to set yourself up for success and to help your dog succeed. He's chewing on something, tighten the leash up. Kilo, come. Hey, good boy. Yeah, what's this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, good boy, good boy, Kilo. Hey, good boy. Oh, who's your Get him really excited. Make sure he knows we're out here together. Yeah, good boy, break. That, hey, we're on this walk together. You're not out adventuring by yourself. We wanna grow that relationship with our dog. And that's them knowing that, hey, we're doing this together. You know, allowing your dog to do these things and to have this fun. Let's go back this way so we're out of the snow. Is uh, relationship building all in itself because we always wanna be engaging together. He's coming to me, I'm being fun. If I can be more interesting than this environment, I'm winning. Be the most interesting human your dog has ever met. We're just saying human, but we're not going against humans, we're going against everything. The whole environment is this. He keeps looking at me, this works in recalls. Kilo, come. 
Yeah. <laughs> Who's a cute boy? He's an awesome dog. Yes. Make sure we're given a good amount. You can go into the foundation and play the break. Come. I think he kind of heard it there. Kilo, come. Atta boy. Yes. Break. You know, Kilo's struggling with his sits right now um, and his downs. He doesn't like the wet ground. He doesn't like the cold ground. Um, we're working on that. But this is a time where maybe if he's doing really well, I could ask for a down and see what he does. You know, it's a good challenge. Let's see if I have a big piece of chicken and I get him engaged for it. Can I get him into a down? I'm not going to make him do it in the snow, but we'll line up this grass here. Kilo, come. Good boy. I'll give him a little piece of it. Yes. Good boy. Down. Yes. Good boy. Break. He was like almost like not a chance. So. There's an opportunity just to try something else while we're out here, work on other skills, see how he does, just to see where he's at. Um, his down again, four when we get to that one, uh, three videos from now, that's gonna bring a spot out with me to where we do that. Because sometimes, again, set them up for success, we'll accommodate him, even though he's just being a baby. Uh, I'm gonna motivate him to go down in, you know, a lot of different areas and materials. Kilo, come! But the thing is, is uh, yes, I'm working to the goal of socializing him for his owner. Um, once the rain's gone, summer comes right around the corner, he'll be good. So we're gonna bring a spot out so that we can work on what's important. And that's his stability in a busy area. I don't need him being distracted by wet ground when we're trying to succeed. So you'll see that in a few days, but if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, uh, share it to some friends. This was recall. So we were talking about the wow factor food. Uh, we're gonna come here for the next few recalls, non-distracting every day. Um, tomorrow you're just going to see uh, heel, but just know I'm doing all the training in different areas each day. So we're going to do uh, recall, heel, spot, and break come in the distracting areas. Break come is of course the first one. When you come out to here we get back to the basics, but follow for the next one and uh, have a good day. Alright, so as I promised the leash secret. And yes, I forgot while we were doing the training because of course I practice what I preach and that stay focused on what you're doing with the progressive steps, steps we're on. Pure Canine Training is all about following a system to ensure success so that you can live stress-free afterwards because you know you've put in the work. So if someone runs into you, if someone you know, if a random dog, don't compromise the training that you're doing and the progressive step you're at by getting distracted by those distractions like I did to forget to tell you about the secret. So if you do and you fail, the failure can be far more detrimental to your success. It could set you back a lot further um, and longer to catch back up. So it's not worth having the incidents happen. So again, I rolled the leash up and gathered it up like this. The reason that I gather it like this is I can hold each loop. So if you can see how I have each loop, I know how many feet per loop. So when I roll the leash up, it's four, eight, 12. It's caught in his foot. We always try to catch the leash, 16. So I got 16, it's about a 20 foot leash. Now, this is important because if you're struggling with your dog's reactivity, if you're trying to work on recall, if you're uh, trying to succeed and get closer to those distractions, this is what I call dog baiting, people baiting, environment baiting. And you got to be on top of it. You need to know your leash lengths and how far it is so that if you are going to bait a dog with your dog, if he was to hit the end of the leash and that other person's dog was to hit the end of the leash, would they meet in the middle? I hope not. So that's why I'm going to teach you how to count your leash length. So I know if I drop two, he's got eight feet. From the height of his neck to the ground is another two feet. So there's 10 feet if I'm holding one loop. There's 20 feet down if I'm not holding that loop. I need to get familiar with how far from him to me 20 feet is. And actually Massimo is quite familiar with it too because when I walk the other way, quite often he doesn't hit the end of the line or if he feels it about to lift, he responds to it. When you train your dog with a certain leash length, it becomes a bit of an aura and they get really familiar with it. <clears throat> so we roll it up and then we be aware of our distances so we can be preventative so our dogs don't meet in the middle and we have any incidents when we're socializing and challenging the distractions around us to call our dogs in with recall like you saw in today's video. Stay 100 feet away at the beginning, 200 feet however you need to succeed. And then once you're getting closer, watch your leash lengths. Stay away from retractable leashes. I never go near those people. 
Don't put pressure on the people around you, but work your recall. Make sure you're challenging yourself around dogs and people that you're not gonna set up for failure and ruin their progressions and make things harder for them. Be respectful. Mask, come, heel, but practice rolling up your leash, being aware of how much is on the ground and, and uh, uh, watching the distances around you, making sure that we're keeping our dog within us, calling them in and then protecting them going forward. Have a good day.